This is your weather extreme video for Saturday, November the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get right to a, an active weather pattern we have in store for us. So let's get right to the charts. There's a look at the surface map for this morning, and we see a surface high centered primarily over the Outer Banks area, and uh, that is allowing moisture and warmth to return up through the, the uh, lower and middle Mississippi River Valley. We can see that returning warmth on the uh, Current temperatures across the U.S., as you can see, the value is climbing into the 40s uh, up around St. Louis, the mid-40s. So it's uh, warming up nicely ahead of that next system. In the upper atmosphere, we're watching the development of a fairly uh, substantial trough over the Rockies that will, uh, with, with a shortwave trough that will be coming out across Texas uh, for tonight and Sunday, and that will be uh, generating a surface low. Temperatures across central Alabama generally in the 40s this morning, so a little bit warmer. Nice to see a morning without any freezing temperature values. On the radar this morning, we're showing a few uh, returns over northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas and back into Oklahoma ahead of the developing weather system. And on the uh, watch warning map, we do have uh, freezing rain advisories. It's all that uh, burgundy area across the, the southern Great Lakes up in the vicinity of Chicago and Detroit and extending over uh, into parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania as well as extreme western uh, New York. The uh, gray area over, Tex uh, over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and uh, Kansas, uh, those are dense fog advisories. QPF-wise, it looks like another pretty good rain event in store for us. Uh, after the rain event we had last weekend, we certainly don't ne exactly need more rain, but uh, it looks like we'll see uh, on the order of probably one to one and a half inches of rain with the next weather system. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk for severe weather across South Texas for, t for today, day one. For day two, there is a slight risk from uh, generally about Birmingham southward and an enhanced risk area over uh, the uh, southern part of uh, Alabama and Mississippi, as well as southeastern Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle. All right, let's get right to some um, modeling. And uh, there's the GFS pattern for today at midday, and we see the surface high over the Outer Banks. And that is uh, helping to bring a, around a good southerly flow into the lower part of the Mississippi River Valley. The uh, upper trough is coming out nicely across Texas for today. And that trough uh, comes around and becomes negatively tilted as it comes through the lower Mississippi River Valley on Sunday. And so that brings a surface low up into the vicinity of Jonesboro or ex in extreme northeastern Arkansas on uh, Sunday about midday. And the question will be where the warm front uh, is able to get and how far north the instability gets. Now, the maps today and the charts today, this is the CAPE values based on the GFS, and it's showing uh, CAPE values um, generally in that uh, light blue area, which are uh, around uh, uh, 500 or so uh, or above. It uh, lo looks like the CAPE values are going to be confined primarily to the southern part, generally um, the southern part of Alabama, generally to the south of the USAD corridor. Looking uh, very quickly at the NAM, uh, this is the high-resolution NAM, and uh, basically it is also showing the uh, high CAPE values to be south of uh, about Montgomery. And on the helicity, it looks like we're, we will have a mixed bag of severe weather potential, damaging wind, large hail, and and isolated tornadoes, and it looks like the helicity values uh, are pretty well up there, so the shear is uh, pretty significant. The shortwave trough moves by, and that helps to establish a fairly good uh, long, wave, long wave trough over the central part of the United States uh, by midday on Monday. And so we may see some wraparound moisture as the surface low moves up into southeastern Canada and uh, past the Great Lakes states. But the cold front definitely by us on Monday, so Monday will be a cooler day. Uh, we get out to Tuesday, and we see another little short wave coming through the overall long wave uh, trough position. But uh, because there's no moisture, it should come through on Wednesday with uh, with uh, very little, maybe just a few clouds, and uh, maybe some uh, rain and some storms over uh, Florida. By the time we get out to Thanksgiving Day, we see this uh, general long wave trough position over the uh, you know, central U.S., so that is helping to keep things cool but not terribly cold, and there may be some uh, travel issues up around the Great Lakes with some snow and ice up that way. By the time we get out to Friday, Black Friday, I think they call that, uh, the shopping day I try not to go out and shop, we see the long wave trough, so it's still staying somewhat cool 
and even into Saturday, the long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. Uh, but uh, that keeps us pretty much under surface high pressure over the central part of the U.S. Going out into voodoo country, it looks like another wet system comes our way around Monday, the 1st of December. So uh, starting out December on a wet note, and then around uh, the end of the period, the 7th or so, we see another uh, strong system coming through. So that looks like another wet period. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Saturday. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to the blog for notes on the ever-changing Alabama weather situation. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Saturday, and Godspeed.